All right, this is Carl Haney, 91 years old, and he's back at his old home right over there. Here's the uh, front stone, 1908 to 1932, from the old church. Here's a picture of the church slash school building in Pacheco, which used to be right over here. The only thing left are the stairways. Here's the Haney posterity returning to the place in Pacheco where the Haney family lived. The house is not original, but the well's still there. So this is Rafael Castillo with uh, Aunt Marie and my dad uh, by the well at the original uh, property. This isn't the original house, but it was nearby here, and this is the property. Now, you'll notice that the, that the water level is really quite shallow. This is the only thing they use the well for now is they put, uh, they'll put pop, because the wife sells pop, sells pop, and she'll put pop in that bucket put yep. it down in the water to get it full. I see some down there. There's, there's three or four out the down there. Obvious, obviously all this woodwork here is. Yeah, it used to be a cement for a rock. Just scoop it up with your hand. The other corner, on the other side of the street, she was the midwife that brought me into the world. Maggie Johnson? Yes. Margaret, Maggie, Aunt Maggie. Was she, this is the field that they were plowing when they found the coin, the silver peso that uh, Aunt Marie now wears around her neck. I got the feeling nauseous. Anyway, the folks took me down to what we called the station at that time, Casa Grandes, Nuevo Casa Grandes. The doctor down there really didn't know what he was doing, so they took me out to Douglas. The doctor out there said I had been poisoned, quote unquote. So your parents were trying to kill you? <laughs> No, <laughs> they, they, they wanted me to be smart enough to wash the apple. <laughs> anyway, the doctor said, I'd like to have you under my care. They left me with Uncle Ether and Aunt Mary, came back down, loaded up, moved out. You're the only of the children that born actually in Pacheco. Interesting. So this was the property of Joel Hill's Martina, no Johnson, Joel Hill's Johnson. This other side is where Joel Hill's Martino lived, which was Ola Martino's, uh, my grandma's father. And then Glenn Haney moved here, when he moved back, uh, lived here for a period of time. red brick you're talking about, Joe? Yes. Yes. It is an original home, but it was a two-story. So now it's been changed, but it is an original home. Do we know whose? And do you know whose it was? The Croft home. This is an old original outhouse, and they had to run from the outhouse clear up to this house to get back to bed. This is our caravan heading to Temple Hill in Pacheco. On January 18th, 1885, this hill, known at the present time as Temple Hill, was discovered by Alexander F. McDonald and John W. Campbell as they scouted for future settlements for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. While John Campbell scouted around the area, A.F. McDonald took a short nap, and while sleeping, he had a dream or vision in which he saw a temple on this hill. Upon waking, he told John Campbell, this is the place we, will ha we have gone far enough. About 10 years later, on December 10th, 1895, Apostle Francis M. Lyman directed Alexander F. McDonald and Edward Stevenson to return to this hill. There were two of the 10 men that had come and dedicate it for future sacred purposes. The dedicatory prayer offered by Edward Stevenson included the words, 
from this spot, the light of the gospel will go forth to all of Mexico. In 1935, the Aaronic Priesthood young men, Boy Scouts from Colonia Pacheco, <laughs> under the direction of Scoutmaster Ray Jarvis, built this rock monument to mark the spot of the pioneer tree. For the monument, Bishop Marion L. Wilson handcrafted a bronze plaque listing the names of the ten men who visited this site in 1885. The plaque disappeared sometime between 1945 and the early 50s. Several great men and women have prophesied or have had dreams or visions related to Temple, Pit, to Temple Hill. Many believe there will be a sacred and holy temple built on this hill at some point in the future. We had moved from Pacheco, but we had such an enjoyable situation down here that during the summers, every time we could, we would come back and live with Grandma and Grandpa and just associate with the children. Well, they had the primary children learn that dance, song and dance, put your little foot. I joined them when they had the celebration for this monument. Put your little foot, put your little foot, put your little foot, put your little foot right here. I remember that. Put your little foot, 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 put Carl Haney was baptized yeah. when he was eight years old. These are the hives of wasps on the underside of the cliffs at Temple. This is the peacefulness of Pacheco. Temple Hill, looking out over Corrali Corrales, which is part of Pacheco. Temple Hill is up above. Look at that, there's Michael. And oh, they're kissing, and oh, isn't that sweet. And now, just before they, it's lover's leap, and just before they go down, ah! Beautiful valley. Is this easier or this? Some fish. Swimming about. The rock's there. shall be taught the law that will go forth with truth and wisdom fraught to govern all the earth if ever But we set up some cans down here in the field, and uh, right I, here on your own property. Yeah, right down here. Just so that's where the Hidetarios were trying to get onto your. Well, they're trying to take the whole everybody. Place. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted me to reset the scope on his on the rifle that I had down there for him. So uh, I went ahead and readjusted the scope and was shooting those cans down there. He was quite surprised. You know, I could hit those cans out there on the, on the middle of the field out there. I asked him if he had used a, a handgun. And uh, he said, he said, well, yeah, I've shot him time and time. I told him, well, I, I brought my pistol down this trip. Uh, what he didn't realize is I, had, I grew up with handguns. And I had, I had fired thousands of rounds through that 357 that I had. And so I handed him my 357. I loaded it up for him. He shot at those cans. He came close a time or two. 
and uh, he said, uh, this gun's not very accurate. I said, hey, you check it out. I loaded it back up. I leveled out. I hit six rounds and put six cans in the air. And he said, man, talk about luck. Man, you're lucky. <laughs> I loaded that sucker up again and I shot six more rounds and six more cans jumped in the air. He says, can you do that again? I said, as long as I've got ammunition. It just totally blew his mind. But word got around it. <laughs> I was muy pistolero. <laughs> and, that, and that's kept him off your land, huh? Yeah. See, one of the things in Mexico, the way the laws are, if they were to come down here while I was gone and plow a piece of land and put a crop in, I couldn't legally kick them off. Kick them off until they harvested the crop. So these people have already come against me five times that I've beat them in court. Five times now, we've had the military kick them off the property. So I have already forgiven them five times. Doc. Doc. <gasps> Good job, you said it. Can you say dog? Dog. Where's the dog? Say dog. Oh, yes. Good job. Like this little under egg and open it and have it Don't look at your thumb. rather than the crystal. This is the this one's open. Majority. Is it a good one, Kev? Yeah, majority. Jim, a little fish over right here. That's where I want This is Jim Jarvis's home in Adobe. Chaco. There's no electricity, but he lives comfortably here. How to make an adobe comfortable. This is Garcia Creek, and that is the Pacheco River. They come together right at this spot and become the Piedras Verdes River. Beautiful little place. Are you telling me a story? Say, ma, ma, ma. No, 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 say ma, ma, ma. <laughs> Did you see a dog? Did you see a doggy? Yeah. <laughs> Did you say, did you see a doggy? Dog? <laughs> say dog. <laughs> okay. We're calling this place Rancho Milly. This is Cueva, Cueva de la Olla, or Cave of the Pot. It's a giant pot-shaped storage that the Indians who lived here used for storing their grains. Washed out by the water years ago. Or Becky and Bree making it down the mountain. This is the outside of the wood home, or the Robinson home that uh, used to be the wood home. Uh, again, where Glenn Calhoun stayed while he was uh, sick with the, the influenza. He finally recovered. And then it was across the street that there was an abandoned home where his brother Lynn died of the influenza.